I love getting new tools and I'm going to be showing you guys today the Makita cordless die grinder. So if you're looking for it, it's DGD8007. I got it on Amazon. I think it was 125 bucks. Um, yeah, I'm going to open it up and see what it looks like. In the kit, there's a couple of wrenches. Well, the wrenches got here for obviously the chuck. And they also give you a little brochure on all the tools you wish you had. <laughs> They've got quite a bit of stuff. Um, I got this because I do quite a bit of work with a regular air die grinder. Um, I like it, but my compressor, it's not the best. It, uh, it'll basically lose pressure after maybe a couple of minutes. And what happens is, as you start to lose pressure in your air compressor, the bit starts to slow down. So normally I use it with a bull nose rasp from Cutsall. But um, the problem is, is you're going at a certain rate, you're taking out material, and then it starts to slow down considerably to the point where it almost literally stops. So it's very inconsistent. And for me, I do a lot of shaping on wood, and consistency is key. So I love this tool, but <clears throat> until I get a break a better compressor I'm a little bit limited so I decided to pick up this guy so first impression is it's huge uh, <laughs> a little bigger than I had hoped maybe but I guess perhaps instead of having one hand working the hose because usually with the little die grinder usually you usually have to have one hand on the tool and one hand on the hose to kind of keep from getting caught on things or you have to actually take and use both hands this you would just naturally be using two hands so um, just initially holding it feels like you know I'd probably work at something like this so I have one hand here and one hand here okay so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm actually gonna go ahead and put in a cut saw bull nose rasp I use this for doing a lot of shaping on chairs and rocking chairs so I feel like it's a good bit to test Okay, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my 4 amp battery. Um, I felt it's kind of middle of the road. A lot of people I think have the 3 amps. I have a few 5s, but mostly I have 4s, so it's kind of common. We'll just see how that battery works. Okay, so again, it's getting to be a pretty big tool. Um, it's quite long in comparison, but again, you don't have a hose to deal with, so right away I'm pretty excited about that. And also, you should have a fairly constant power source. Um, let's just see. All right. Sounds good. So the switch is pretty in a good position. And it can lock into place. So that's good. So you won't have to have your finger holding that. Um, ergonomic seems pretty good. Um, again, <laughs> feels a little bit big, but uh, let's give it a try. Let's see. Let's see how it works. All right, so right now, here's a rocking chair that I'm working on at the moment. Normally, I will use this tool for doing some shaping around the headrest. Um, I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to see how it works. I'm going to see how it compares to a regular die grinder uh, for power and also for just ease of use. I have to say, the power is really good. I mean, I'm really digging. You can see the burn marks. I don't normally get burn marks from that, but that's just how much power this thing is actually putting out. I'm, <laughs> I'm physically trying to stop it on here, and it's not stopping, so that's really good. All right, a lot of the stuff that I do is usually contoured and curved, so I wanted to see how this tool would do if I, you know, how 
how good can I get with accuracy on a shape? So let's make kind of a little shape here and see if I can follow it. I gotta say, not bad. I felt that was pretty good. This um, this might sound strange, but I actually kind of like when I was using it. I could almost set it against my body a little bit. I'd be a little more careful with it. Whereas with this little guy, it's you're just using your hands, which aren't always the strongest. But I tell you, I actually kind of like that. So that was interesting. The other thing I want to do, I'm gonna do a power test. Let's see how much material I can remove. I have to say that power was pretty amazing. If you look at the size of the bit in comparison, it was hogging out that wood like nothing and I did not feel the tool stopping at all. That was pretty incredible to be honest. Okay, so just trying out the cordless Makita die grinder with a cut saw bull nose rasp. Um, overall, really happy with it. Of course, there is that size difference, and that might be a preference thing, but when you're having to control a hose, depress the switch, and hold it with two hands, it can get a little cumbersome. I find when your hands are like this, you don't have a lot of control, so if the wood grabs, the tool tends to move. So I like this tool a lot, but again, you lose pressure on your compressor, and you have to wait, and the, the bit strength is variable, so you're not really getting a consistent tool in removing wood so I find that a little bit limiting so when I get to this guy yes it is larger but the power is consistent I feel like I have more control over it because I've got two hands on it and also I was able to in situations kind of rest it against my body and have a lot of control so that made me really happy um, this thing removed an incredible amount of material in a short amount of time I tried to stop the bit I couldn't it was very strong and I had power for quite a long time, much longer than I would have with a, with an air die grinder. So I'd have to, you know, use this for about a minute and then wait for the compressor to charge up. Obviously, I can get a better compressor, but that's expensive. So at $125, I thought this was a great addition to my tools, and uh, I'm pretty excited about it, actually. Um, I'll be using it a lot going forward. Uh, yeah, great tool.